What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and today is officially the start of Star Wars month here during the month of May here on the Modern Ninja channel. Guys, it's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos with uh, Star Wars themes and then not all of them this month are going to be Star Wars. I have some other videos planned, but Saturdays you're going to get some sword and lightsaber style combat tricks. And on Wednesdays, you're going to be getting a kind of a mix between fight like a superhero and what is martial arts. We're going to be going through all the different lightsaber forms in the Star Wars universe. Now, there are seven official lightsaber forms and two that I'm kind of lumping in there that are going to be included as a honorary form. But right now, we're going to be going over Form 1, the style used by most notably Kit Fisto. But as we always do, let's run that intro. Like I said earlier, used by Kit Fisto, Shi Cho is known as the Determination Form, or the Way of the Sarlacc. And it's the first lightsaber form of combat ever to be created. Now this is one of the most true to the Jedi way, the style centered around trying to disarm people without actually killing them. Shi Cho was generally used for training beginners into the Jedi Order, so the younglings and Luke in the first uh, Star Wars movie, that's what they started off learning. A moment of silence for the Jedi young man. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? Now this being the first form of lightsaber combat in existence, this taught people the six strike points of lightsaber combat. Those strike points being the head, the right arm, the left arm, the back, the right leg and the left leg, one through six. And of course, the block zones would also match those strike zones. Now the basic stance for this form was the classic Jedi stance. Two hands on your lightsaber holding it in front of your body, chest facing your target with your feet staggered but inside your shoulders. Even though this form, even though this form of lightsaber combat is considered more basic when compared to other lightsaber styles, especially some of the newer styles developed, that does not mean the style does not hold its own. Masters like Kit Fisto were able to hold their own and fend off Jedi killers like General Grievous on several occasions. That power will only consume you. Now that does not mean this is without its disadvantage. One of its disadvantages was that it was designed to take on multiple enemies at once. At first glance, this doesn't really seem like a disadvantage, but when it comes to one-on-one -on -one intense duels, this one did fall short in a lot of situations, especially considering that this form was designed not to kill people, and so moves that would kill people were intentionally left out of training and took, taken out of this form uh, to keep with that philosophy. But this form is always an important one for any Jedi to learn because it teaches the fundamentals that will carry through every other Jedi form after it. All right, so now since this form is teaching the basics, I wanted to go over the basic strike points and block points with this piece of equipment right here. This is my uh, Ultra Sabers, or at least half of my Ultra Sabers double lightsaber. Um, this I've had for a very long time. I used to do do uh, shows in this, and if you want me to do a review on this item, let me know. So we're gonna start off in our Shicho stance, our basic Shicho stance with the saber straight up in front of you, two hands on the saber, and our legs inside of our shoulders. Now from here, our first strike is gonna be at the head, coming down, just like that. Coming down, just like that. Now our second strike is gonna be coming towards their right side, so our left side. It's gonna come around, strike one. So, our first strike, bang. Our second strike. Now our third strike is gonna strike the other arm on their left side, their left arm. So, we have our three first strikes. We have one, two, three. From here comes all the way around to strike into the back to burn the back of the opponent. Because again, these are lightsabers. These are red hot or blue hot or whatever color you choose. So, when you do this, come in close to get the burn of the back, but this form is not meant to kill, so you don't drag through like other forms possibly would in that situation. So again, we have one, two, three, four. 
Now, coming back, we have five towards their right side, hitting low towards their right side, and six hitting low towards their left side, and then back to the center. All together, it'll look something like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and then back to the center. Now it's time to do the opposite and do our blocks. Blocking our target zone one is gonna be one above the head with our hands to the side so we can still see our opponent, but the saber is blocking above our head. Then straight out across blocking the body, right, with that saber, and then on the other side blocking the body. Now for our back, we're gonna turn our saber upside down and come right in close to this side keeping them from wrapping around. So one more time, it's gonna go one, two, three, coming close, keeping them from wrapping around, four, and then protecting our right leg, five, protecting our left leg, six. So one more time, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then back to our guard. And that you can practice back and forth with another partner to get those strikes and blocks quick and on point. So if you have, you know, a brother or a friend or a roommate or whoever around that you can get these lightsabers with, I'll leave links down in the description if you want to get a uh, saber forge or ultra saber lightsaber so you can practice this yourself. But you can practice these combos with this. You don't even have to get that. You can just get like a PVC pipe or a stick that you find. But either way, let's get back inside because it's apparently a tornado warning and I want to get inside. Let's, let's do that. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't really know exactly how many of the forms we're going to get through this month. I'm going to get through as many as I can, but I don't know if we're going to do them all this month. We have to save some for next year, of course. Uh, or maybe just December when they release Star Wars. I, I'll, let me know which one you want down in the comments. But speaking of the comments, we have a giveaway for those of you that stuck this far through the video. Um, I'm doing a 25,000 subscriber giveaway. Not one, but two winners will be chosen. One on Instagram, one on YouTube. Since we're on YouTube, I'm going to give you that info right now. But there's details down in the description if you want to know more. But if you comment and like the video and are a subscriber, then every comment you place that is relevant to the video will be an entry into that raffle. So that once we get to 25,000 subscribers, you have a chance to win your own karambit or something else that you can have in your part of the world that you live in. But with all that said, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time because my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja. And I'm out.